Hello everybody and welcome to episode 99 of the Hardcore Vanilla series. Damn, 99, huh? I've gotten pretty far. Oh boy. The base is taking a bit of damage. You know, I think I stopped all Demolisher explosions in the previous episode, which is a huge win. Huge, I say. Yeah, I think I stopped all the Demolisher explosions. All of the damage that's being taken here is almost exclusively from me. I have done a lot of damage. But hey, better from me than from those damn zombies. Especially the Demolishers. They are the bane of all seven days players. At least the ones that actually get far enough to see them. You have to get pretty far in the game stage before they even appear. I mean, we didn't start seeing them until, what, episode 60-something? 60 64, I think. Or no, 70, 71, I believe. And that is quite late in the game. Most people are not willing to play a game for 60 hours just to get to one type of enemy. At least as far as I know, that's how it works. People don't have that kind of patience nowadays. We live in an ADHD era, where if you do anything for more than 10 seconds, you lose everybody's attention. Hell, just me sitting here and repairing things has probably lost me a lot of viewers. But hey, it's the kind of game we're playing. It's the kind of games that I will be playing. So, sadly, for the folks who lose their attention span this early in a video, I'm not sure you're going to enjoy the rest of what is to come for this channel. Damn, these doors are healthy. 20,000 HP apiece? Maybe I should make an entire base out of those. <laughs> An entire base of just vault doors. It's an interesting idea. Oh, I need electrical parts. Yeah, sadly, the beginning of this episode is going to be almost entirely dedicated to repairing the base. We're going to have to get used to this particular rhythm, it would seem, because after the 105th day, the final natural horde night, it's going to be the blaze of glory. And nearly every single day is going to require some amount of repairs. Some amount. Oh dear. I think I ended up with a surplus of ammo again. Yes, I did. This is all from the loot bags at the end of the previous episode. Yeesh. Quite a lot. We officially have an entire chest of 9mm ammo. What? I'll wait for her to walk in front of the turret. Should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's the good stuff. I need more of those. More turrets. I got a treasure map. When did that happen? Must have been from the loot bags. Let's put these pipe bombs away. I definitely need to craft more. I don't know how many I have at the base, but I definitely can't see a reason not to use them. They're cheap. They're hyper effective. Maybe a little less satisfying than shooting them from a crossbow, but still very satisfying to see the boom boom happen and you get many more explosions from the pipe bombs than you do from one of these speaking of which how many levels did i get five levels from that one horde night that's pretty saucy I'm going to put them toward finishing up the perception skill so that i can master demolitions expert interestingly enough the explosions apparently produce a stun effect and it says that the final perk of demolitions expert will make the explosion stun longer very interesting at some point i might have to put points in the spear master as well and try a melee build or a melee base build you're going to have many many horde knights to mess around after all many horde knights almost too many horde knights let's see what did i come here for electrical parts yes mechanical parts sure think that should probably do what else can we use iron i think we need that to repair some things some things this should do Shouldn't need more than a stack. I cooked iron in these, didn't I? What for? What was I doing? Probably for darts. 4,000 apiece? Don't mind if I do. If we do this, we shouldn't ever have to craft darts again. Well, that's a bit of a dramatic assumption and unrealistic. We probably still will. Okay, we have our iron, our concrete. The only thing that could possibly be missing is cobblestone and, well, I don't really care about cobblestone. The only cobblestone blocks that I know of and our wonderful girthiness is the ones on top, right up there. And honestly, I don't care if they break. There's, <laughs> there's three layers of them. What would it possibly be an issue? Actually, I don't know why I'm checking in here. This is the maw. Nobody gets in the maw. Nobody. Hmm. The blade traps. Somehow, most of them didn't actually break out here. They usually do. Maybe I should get more layers of this. Create an entire field of them. Hmm. Considering most of the time, all it takes to repair them is steel. No mechanical or whatever parts. Wait, that one's operational, but these ones aren't? Why? But th that one is too, but the- Wait. <laughs> what? Anyways, these ones appear to not be breaking because they're too focused on getting into the pit. Which, hey, that works for me. That means if I had a true field of the blade traps, they might not actually break. 
They might just murder. And then it's just a matter of running around, repairing an insane amount. Why are some of these functional and not the others? <laughs> Did I not turn everything off? Better jump down here and find out. But he's on? No. So who exactly is powering that? Off? You're off, and you are also off. Which means that these traps are powered by something else entirely. I wonder what. Also, why were they doing damage over here? Man, I hate this rage mechanic. I'm gonna wait for them to break blocks before I start replacing them or repairing them or whatever. Did I really just not turn off something here? You, turn off. It's only using five watts, so... Ah, there's the watt. That's what was still being used. We have a few more repairs to make, mostly down in the pit. They didn't really make it past the pit this time, which is great. Truly a tale of the ages. Something I built actually worked. Could you imagine? I have a hard time doing so myself. It's interesting that they managed to just sprint through some of these. Yes, they never seem to make it into the second half of the pit, which is great. I could also set up more of these electric traps. I could put ones upside down on top of these. What? Was that damaged? By one. Mm. Oh, probably from me, because I fell in the pit a few times. But I could put some right up here where I'm standing, on top of these ones, and then just connect them to lower wires behind these in the ground. It could be done. I don't think I will, though. There's no need. There is a need of, however, is to continue repairing this. They did... Quite a number over here. Did a demolisher go off, or is that just from me? Or did I just fail to repair the last horde night? That could be it. My senses have picked up some. Is that right, Shirley? Oh, I guess it is right. Anyone else? It would appear as though there is, in fact, anyone else. Nice little wandering horde. Nice. Seems like free XP to me. <laughs> They truly lack the intimidation factor. Maybe I should go into the XMLs and put a zero on the end of how many zombies can appear in a wandering horde. Might be good for everyone's health. Keeps you on your toes. Well, got more loot. Go me. Suppose I should repair these. What in the world? How did I not notice this? <laughs> Where did this come from? That has to have broken from something up there. Right? Isn't that how that works? Ah, oh, whatever. Yeah, it had metal in it. So... Why? <laughs> what the hell? Maybe I shouldn't repair these ones that only have a handful of damage. Seems like it might be a waste. Force of habit dictates that everything must be repaired 100%. Or I guess not force of habit. Force of OCD. If I can look at it with my nail gun and it shows that little health bar, that's a bad thing. Must repair. I'm not exactly worried about the steel after all. Oh, perhaps I should be. After all, I don't exactly have infinite, do I? No, I do not. Did I turn all of this off? I think it's the last generator to check. Here we are. Yes, it is off. We're good. And they barely went through a stack. Again. Pretty nice, honestly. The dart traps are... I know they're doing great damage because they killed the demolishers when I'm not shooting at them or looking at them or really even paying attention to them. They don't deserve it. All they want is your attention. <laughs> don't give it. You're feeding their ego. Did I turn off this one? I did. Good. And, whoa, these ones definitely went through more than the... Other ones. I see. Well, that's fine. These are just set to target zombies, right? Yes. Good. Oh well. I'm going to say repairs finished. The only thing that's really missing would be up there. That's right. The cops destroyed my little throne thing up here. Give it a skip and a hop. No. Again, skip and a hop. Why am I so bad at this? Skip and a hop. Yeah. Right. They destroyed this. We need bars right here oh, crap i accidentally switched it actually you know what i could do <laughs> interestingly enough if i set up bars on the upper level here hold on yes okay here's what i'm going to do I'm going to put normal bars advanced like this now i'm going to use these ones with the corners here and actually set them up to be facing back toward the maw over there like this so it'll give me extra padding underneath the cops will have a hard time blowing out that bottom layer and the second layer and it also serves as a wonderful little baby gate so i can not that this has been why i've been falling but so i can reduce the odds of me well being me and walking my dumb ass off of my <laughs> safe little perch hey this thing is in the way oh it was almost broken too damn i guess cobblestone is just a lot weaker than i remember we'll do that and then we'll set one more normal bar where oh where here we are uh, we'll do on face it's easier that way right aren't you no not gonna do it fine advanced it is we are not alone is that right surely two more bars right there we'll call it good i hear a screamer but also hey don't know where she is hey 
always have to top them off before they can scream. I don't feel like dealing with that. But that is 100% of all the repairs finished. I could have saved that for nighttime, huh? I guess that would make sense. But we'll clear our... Oh, I hear another one. Is that right, Missy? Yeah, I hear you. But where are you? Oh no, she's not below, is she? You get out of here. Who do you think you are? How dare you? How dare? How dare? Are all my forges okay? You guys okay? My happy, happy little forges? Yeah, they're fine. Oh, I hear another one. Are you serious right now? Who? Where? Here she is. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, I see. How did I not notice that? Just cover that up with some concrete now. Everything's getting a little bit more durable. Eventually, my entire base will just have a bunch of holes blown in it and then be replaced with concrete. Or I'll die before that occurs. All right, let's put the concrete away and pretty much everything else. We're at an interesting impasse. We have to decide whether or not... Oh, let's put these explosives away. We have to decide whether or not to go and get more ammo, if that is a priority. Or if we should simply say that we have enough, which, you know, we might. We just might. Maybe. Could be. Perhaps. Yeah, we might say that. Which means that this week, oddly enough, might be shorter episodes sadly but it might be for the purpose of recreating things like that tower that i'd put over there which <laughs> i have to do something about that who oh, we i did not build that properly i had a, <laughs> had a pretty hearty chuckle in one of the comments about it oh man the folly of man is almost always that he assumes he's correct one of the hardest things to do is go through life assuming that you have no damn idea what you're talking about because if you don't you end up looking like a fool but well, if you take the proper position, you simply won't care you look like a fool. Now, I think I'm going to be spending this week building more pseudo horde bases. It just seems proper. Maybe even collecting more coal and nitrate for gunpowder. Speaking of which, I'll take two stacks of this now and try to make more. I believe I finished a oh, damn it. Lost the ability to walk properly. I suppose I should collect the dew collectors while I'm here, too. But I believe... I finished the book that allows me to bulk collect the gunpowder, which means I should, in fact, get more than 12,000 out of this ordeal. If I remember correctly, you get about 20% more? Yeah, I think it's 20%. I might be wrong. Just put the water in there for now. Over here. Stack of gunpowder. Yes. Well, you save 20% on your resources. Whatever. You can do 15 stacks. What is that divided by 3? Derp. 5. So... 12,000 coal and nitrate becomes 15,000 gunpowder. Not bad, honestly. Mega crush in here? No, just more learning elixir. <laughs> I keep buying this, but there's really no reason to. I guess that's just how I operate now. I could start getting this moonshine, I guess. Healing per second plus 20. I guess so. This week is entirely about preparing for that wonderful, wonderful time when the world becomes my enemy. Also, hold on. I have an extra stack of shotgun ammo that doesn't need to be here. You, go in there. And you, give me a stack. <laughs> good job, turret. That is a damn good turret. All right, let's take the concrete back out. Some cobblestone. Actually, we have a lot of cobblestone. Hmm. Oh, weren't we going to craft more concrete? We needed to do that, didn't we? We did, but we're already crafting iron. I suppose I'll take the darts, make room for more stacks for now. Take the brass as well. Keep that stuff all cleared out. Uh, darts can go in here with the Horde Knight stuff, along with these arrowheads. You know, I got all of these resources for crafting bullets, but the gunpowder is the great stopping point. This night in particular, once the sun goes down, I think I'm going to spend it digging stone. A lot of stone. I have an infection. Hold on. Where, oh, where could my antibiotics be? There they are. But I think I'm going to spend the night digging stone. And yes, I mean just stone, not iron. Because I do believe you get more for hitting the actual straight stone. I don't know why I left the building. But I'm going to do that in preparation for making an insane amount of concrete for these extra horde bases that we'll be crafting. Designing poorly, most likely. But designing nonetheless. Now, I think I should have everything that I need. Concrete and forge steel and bars lots and lots of bars let's go make the necessary adjustments wait did i i did let's go make the necessary adjustments to this little <laughs> pseudo base over here <laughs> there's a there's a very fatal flaw <laughs> if anybody remembers the previous episode first off it took Literally no damage, which makes sense. No reason for them to attack anything. But there's a fatal flaw in these first few ladders. <laughs> there's, no, there's no need for them. Oh, man. So I'm going to be getting rid of this one. That one. 
Same thing on the other side, and probably a third ladder up. That way they'll be forced to come up this middle ladder, like I had intended. <laughs> I was trying to block them off and completely forgot that ladders can be climbed on both sides, like you do. Anyways, this will take quite a bit, so I'll be right back after these short messages. <laughs> took forever. That was almost two full in-game hours, I think. But now this base should function as intended. I also did a bit of damage to my own base during that. Hard to stay accurate, I usually just let the auger do its thing, but if you sit there just staring in one place for too long, it bings and bombs all over the place with your cursor and eventually it'll lead you onto a different block. Let's see, each of these took a little bit of damage, but it's not hyper-relevant. Probably from all the cops bit, probably. But now we should be fine. I should be able to shoot outside these ladders, hit zombies. Damn, this is high up. Really makes me uncomfortable. But I should be able to shoot the zombies from within these ladders, if I so desire. Say I whip out the exploding crossbow, for instance. Bang, boom, situation resolved. Whatever situation might be in that general area. And meanwhile, they'll be pushing me up this ladder using their fat, fat heads because they can't seem to attack upward. So while I'm having a grand time shooting them, probably honestly with the Magnum, since it apparently has piercing bullets now after finishing the Magnum Enforcer book. Might even get a rifle if it turns out to be good enough. The piercing, that is, not the Magnum itself. So it should be a safe method for dealing with the first bit of the Horde base, at least to give her royal girthiness a bit of a buffer. A little bit. And if it's good enough, I might even build a second one, or I might go higher and cover the bottom of this with hay. Speaking of hay, I need plant fibers. A lot of them. Which means at some point I'm gonna have to just dig up topsoil here, like this. That topsoil. What? <laughs> I attacked the earth once and a screamer was not having it. Where'd she go? Here, screamer, screamer, screamer. Where are you? I just want to say hello. Maybe put a few holes in you. There was a screamer, wasn't there? Am I, am I tripping? What's happening? Where's the screamer? Maybe I should just wait for her to come to me? Ugh. I don't know how to feel about this. She actually disappeared. Oh well. Bye, screamer. Nope, she didn't. Hello. Uh, I always gotta miss the first shot, don't we? Of course. That was a fat man, and he's feral. Look, <laughs> look at him go. Yeah, I do too. This guy's gonna die of a heart attack long before he reaches me. You better relax, buddy. So, we're going to attempt this, see how it goes. Now the question is, what else do we want to build? Should we make a second one? Should we make this higher? Maybe I should have kept the fat man alive to see what happens when I get to the top. It's probably fine. The only problem with a base like this is the birds, and honestly, that's fine. They'll come in, funneling through the top, and I can just shoot them. I think. <laughs> I haven't thought about it too much. Is that a radiated screamer? Wow, those are rare. And now, it's dead. Which makes it that much more rare. Put them on the extinct animals list. Ooh, what? Damn, I had to talk, didn't I? Was that a scream scream? Get out of here, lady. Where? I don't think that counted as a real scream. <laughs> Just a little half scream. A little baby scream. There's another one in the distance, though. You see her? Very small dot. Damn, there's so many of these things. Gah. <laughs> Maybe it's because I got the chem benches cooking now. Get it away from that door. Do not touch. Do not touch that door. Not yours. My door. Stay away. Now we have to ask ourselves, what other <laughs> what other builds can we do? <laughs> I only thought about this one because I have parkour. Let's see, let's look at my other skills and levels and stats and see what we can think of. Hmm. I, I understand the idea, the concept of piercing bullets. I'm already doing that with the magnum in this tall, tall base. So what else is there? What other big brain plays do we have? Run and gun? I mean, I can run and gun. Spend the night running, just don't get hit by cop spit and you'll be fine. Maybe. Big. Maybe. However, well, I was trying to max out physician. Interesting. Craft items in chemistry station faster. This does that? Wow. I didn't know that. Why did I not know that? I guess it doesn't really matter, but that's cool. I like that a lot. Hmm, what else could we do for bases? Now, it's a bit, oh, I gotta repair my auger. It's a bit barbaric, but the way that I typically do my bases, and I'm not at all kidding about this, say if we were over here, the side of this barn, I would create just enough room 
or your standard trap door, like this. I would place it down, then I would go down until I was about five blocks underneath and inside the stone. And after I was deep enough inside the stone, I would just go very, very far back. Because the AI would be attracted to the tunnel, regardless of how many blocks you put in. I would also surround my underground cave that I designed like that in actual blocks, like concrete. Usually just concrete, I don't even go to steel with it build. But, it's entirely just a long-ass corridor, filled with bars and doors. I mean hatches, bars and hatches. And I just shoot down it and either I, A, run out of ammo, B, run out of zombies, or C, run out of <laughs> life, because they get through the tunnel and through all the walls that I built and all the damage that I could do and I die. It's very much a back to the wall strategy, but it's easy and simple and it works well. It's a hard call out <laughs> of being like, hey, I'm definitely going to survive this Horde Knight. But it also makes it so that you can save a lot of time because the build automatically has a lot of things built in to make the AI to go straight to where you want them to, which is in the hole. I probably won't make that build now since I have the girthiness. The girthiness is basically me building what I would normally do with a base, but above ground and a little bit more intricate with the pit. I've never made the pit before. Not even once. Hmm, what can we do to improve this? What could we do? You know, we can try to make a ladder base where I sit at the top in a room, but I surround the ladder in blade traps. Maybe. Nah. Dart traps. That could be good. Dart traps don't seem to damage blocks. So, that makes me curious. Can dart traps shoot through blade traps? I assume so, considering they've been functioning during these horde nights. So the blade part, the blade traps, I'm pretty sure they can shoot through them. No promises. I believe so. Yes. Yes, we tested it prior in the Maw many episodes ago. So we could create a ladder base that uses dart traps. Although we've realized at this point that dart traps aren't the magnum opus. We have to consider electrical traps as well. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Hold on. We can improve this. We can improve this quite a bit, actually, if we just extend it a little. We're going to need yet another generator, too. Which, hey, that's fine. We collected many, many batteries, and now we know that the low-tier batteries are pretty useful as well. They just might break a little bit faster, which, eh, whatever. Nobody really cares, right? Right. I am going to put electrical traps right here, on this ladder. Maybe? Wait, no. <laughs> then if I run into the electrical traps, I'll get hit too, and the idea is that I fall off of this and then go back up it. Hmm. I don't know if this is going to work. No, it probably won't. Let's fill that back in. I guess I just reinforce the ground. Go me. Let's go over a handful of blocks and set up another tower so that when I fall off of this one, I can go up a second one. We will find a way to make this build work. And 20. Okay. Being 20 blocks away should be more than enough. So, is that iron? No, that's... Why would I think that's iron? It's just cobblestone or road or whatever. So, 20 blocks away, we are going to create that but again, so that we can experience the Horde Knight on this ladder while they push me up, acting like Drano and I'm filth in a sink. And after a while, they'll push me all the way up the ladder until, man, this is slow, all the way up until I fall, either onto that platform or not so much because I can survive both. And then I'll run my happy little ass over here and start climbing the second one. And again, they'll act like Drano. And I rinse and repeat, because since there's 64 of these things, <laughs> that's a lot, they're going to be hoarding the bottom of this pretty heavy. They really are. We also only have one point of entry, so they might end up filling this and then getting very irritated and attacking the walls. Hmm. We'll see. We have to test it first. Let's see how it goes. But well, the idea is that I go up here, they push me out, I go into the second one, they push me out, and then I go back up here. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. And if it seems relatively effective, but like there's not enough, hold on, Two, three, four, and five, yes. If it seems like it's relatively effective, but there's not enough tower or enough time between them, then I'll make a third tower. It's going to be a relatively active base, which, hey, that's fine. We've been playing with a very inactive base. I've also been stockpiling on A, Mega Crush, B, Fort Bites, and C, Gusto, because there's probably going to be at least one night where I decide to just go on foot. See how well we can do with that. Just me 
my turrets, a lot of ammo, and loads of liquid courage. Speaking of liquid courage, I might have to do that for a night too. Get myself a whole bunch of beer, then spend the night just punching zombies in the face like you do. Let's go down too, just like we did with the other one. Yeah, I think two blocks down is probably going to become the golden standard for any bases moving forward. I've only ever had the zombies deal damage to the first layer of blocks and then start to tickle the second. Base zombies, that is. I don't mean demolishers. There's only so much you can do to plan around demolishers anyway. Little bastards. They have too much explosive attitude to simply work around them, develop productive countermeasures. They're very, very annoying. Perhaps. No. No, I guess not. I was going to say I could start googling bases, but meh. Or YouTubing or whatever. I meant to upgrade that first layer to steel as well, but whatever. We'll just do this one. Actually, let's get these metal blocks first. Begin building up. I believe it was 23 blocks up. Two, three, 23. Wait, <laughs> I think I'm higher than the other one. Um, time to figure out what happens at 23 blocks. Oh, I did, I did take a little bit of damage. 23 is too much. Now we know, which means I'm going to want to put ladders going up this way, starting with reinforcing these to steel. I don't know, like seven blocks up should be fine? No, we're gonna have to count it again. So far we're at 10. Okay, we'll stop here at 20, and then I guess break this block so it doesn't get in the way. Oh, man. Making mistakes like this takes quite a bit of time out of your day, doesn't it? I'm glad those blocks can't damage me. Oh, that gave sand. What? Breaking cobblestone? I mean, concrete. Gives sand? Since when? Since why? Since who? Now, let's go ahead and set up bars on the sides here. Reduce the odds of me falling off on accident, or on purpose, right there. The same thing on the other side. Come on, there we go. I think I'm still another block or two higher than the other one. <laughs> oh well. We, I mean, we can test it again. I'm at 162 health. Here we go. 162? 141. I'm still taking damage. I see. I don't want that to be a thing. That wasn't a thing over here, right? I have to test it again. 141 health. Let's take a med kit because I'm paranoid. <laughs> Man, 200 and some odd health. Well, having the medicine perk. Oh wait, now I'm recovering health. Uh, I guess I'll wait until I hit 200 and then take the fall and see what happens. Now we play the waiting game. 198 health. So, oh, 99. Why is it going so slow now? Anyways, 199. Now we fall and see exactly how much we take. Okay, we took about 15 damage from that, so they're both relatively even. Relatively. Maybe I should count the blocks on this one. 7, 10, 15, 19. This one's 19 blocks and that one is 20. So, maybe 18 blocks is the actual maximum. It could be. I have the impact bracing mod as well. Very curious. Very, very curious. Well, a little bit of damage from falling should be fine as long as I'm not on death's door when it happens. Probably. We'll see. I'm gonna call it good. I guess I should check the actual amount of damage that I take from this fall as well. Oh, here we go then. 178. 22 damage from that fall. I don't like that as much, so I think I'm going to mow down two blocks worth. Which is annoying because, of course, I have to punch through all this damn concrete, but hey, it's the price we pay. I place the blocks, I have to tear them down. I brought you into this world, and I could take you out. Or something like that. I think this should set it to 18 blocks high. Again, we get sand for that, which is weird. Okay, so 18 blocks, 180 health, we take yet another fall. 165, we took 15 that time. This is weirdly inconsistent. Well, whatever. I guess we'll just accept our demise if we're too low on health <laughs> and we fall from there. I'm not planning on taking a lot of damage while up there anyway. It still follows the same general routine. Let's go ahead and take one of these learning elixirs since we'll be upgrading things to steel. Like so. But I'm really not planning on taking too much damage. Because I'm going to be surrounded by the ladders, the cops will have a hard time hitting me. And because the zombies have a hard time attacking up, all they should do is push me to the top and then push me out. Literally like clearing a drain. Speaking of clearing things, I have to head back to the base and get ready to make a big stone thing? What, what in the world? Screamers. You know, those things are real creepy at night time. There was another one, but I think the turret took care of her. I'm going to assume that the turret did. <laughs> you know what? This thing may never actually see any use. But I- Oh, okay. Oh jeez. Man, bleeding hurts in this game a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Damn. 
Wow, almost half my health from a single bleed. Why is it so strong? I'm gonna do myself a favor and grab a damn band-aid before I go to work. Yeesh. <laughs> There's a lot of damage. Bleeding sucks. We're doing on the stone chest. Yeah, we're gonna need more. Of course we are. We always need more. More of everything. All the time. Rap, what did I come here for? Ride bandages. I still need those. Start using up the normal ones, I suppose. You can stack them, can't you? 45 health, 80. Yes, you can. Just use four of them and call it good. Now, to finish what I was saying, I'm not sure it'll ever actually see any use, but I will begin making a version of my standard horde base where i just dig down and then back a lot hell i could even make it multi-layered if i wanted to i was going to dig down at my normal base but i decided well it's just stone there's no reason to we can do that anywhere stone is a generic enough resource that you don't really need to do it in a particular spot and it's not like i'm looking for iron so this calls for a time lapse which means i'll see you when the sun comes up until then, we go down. And that was the morning ring-a-ding-dog. Yeah, well, <laughs> that looks real barren, doesn't it? And with the morning ring-a-ding-dong comes the end of this episode. This has been episode 99. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.